Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cher if this is your first time stopping by. So today I would have had a humongous haul to share with you. Uh, I have been shopping. Oh my gosh, have I been shopping. I actually went to the city uh, yesterday and I stopped in all over the place and I found some amazing things. However, this would just be way too long of a video. So I'm going to split it into two. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be focusing on what I picked up from Dollar Tree and Dollarama, but make sure you stay tuned and keep an eye out for my next video because that's going to have items from HomeSense, uh, Marshalls and Walmart. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've said it once before and I'll say it again. Walmart has been killing it with their seasonal items. I am just so impressed this year. What they're bringing us and what they brought us so far is unbelievable. Uh, and I know there's more to come. There's still lots of boxes, actually both Walmarts, my one in town here and the one in the city, they are still busy unpacking things. There's more to come, I'm sure. So stick around, you're gonna wanna see what I have to share with you. So let's get started. So of course, most of the items that I purchased are Christmas related with the exception of a few that are not. So let's start there, shall we? First up is a package of these Wortman Pumpkin Spice Limited Edition flavored cookies. These are my absolute favorite and I wasn't able to find them until just today. So I picked up a package. They are now $1.50 in our Canadian uh, Dollar Trees. Uh, prices have gone up on some of the items. I'll still lots though that are $1.25. So just keep an eye out. Everything that is higher does have this little green sticker on it though. If you haven't been to Dollar Tree in a while, just a little FYI there. So if you see these, you might want to try them if you're a pumpkin spice lover like I am. I don't know about you, but I don't like to spend a lot of money on hand soap. And when I can find some nice stuff at Dollar Tree, I like to try it out. And when you can find the uh, foaming ones, even better. So this one is the pumpkin cashmere scent. And this one is the winter citrus and pine. I thought that sounded really interesting. I'm actually gonna just give them a little smell. I didn't in the store. So let's see. Oh, wow. That one is really nice. I love that. Very clean smelling and not too overpowering of a scent. I find sometimes they're just too strong and they're too perfumey and I end up throwing them out or I'll put them in the uh, guest bathroom. So let's try this one, this pumpkin cashmere. Let's see what this one's like. This one's a little more perfumey, but not too bad. Doesn't smell much like pumpkin. It's okay. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I do quite like this one. I picked up another container of my favorite Dove uh, hand lotion. I love this stuff. It is a little bit on the perfumey side, but it doesn't bother me like some of them do. Um, and I do actually really like the scent of this one and it works really, really well. And with, you know, winter coming, you can never have too much hand lotion around. I had been keeping my eye out for the large packages of the tumbling tower blocks. Uh, I can get the smaller ones in my store, but I found these in the city, so I thought I better grab a box. These come in really, really handy for all kinds of crafting. I've seen some amazing, amazing things done with these things, so if you can find them in this nice big bonus box, make sure you grab them while you can. So this year I've decided to take it upon myself to decorate my office where I work for Christmas. I am super excited and I have a bit of a vision and I've already started collecting some things that I plan on using to decorate the space. So I thought I'd better grab a few of these command hooks while I was at Dollar Tree. This is a great deal for $1.25. These things are a lot more if you go to your hardware stores or Walmart or anything like that. And this one actually holds up to two pounds, which is gonna be perfect for what I have in mind for it. I just picked up four more of those beautiful lit stars that I picked up from Walmart here in a haul not too long ago. I absolutely love those those things they are so nice and we actually have four kind of single pane windows in our office and I think they're gonna look beautiful hanging in those windows and I plan on putting them up with these little command hooks I think it's gonna work really well so I noticed the Dollar Tree in the city had different items especially in their crafting aisle and I came across these I'd never seen these in my local store before so this one's a, um, a little blackboard and this one's a dry erase board. And I just love the shapes of these. Obviously they look kind of like little houses. I've seen people do all kinds of great things with you know stuff like this. You could put background paper in there. You could paint them or do whatever you want or you could even flip them around and do stuff on the back side as well. So you could have dual purpose that way. Anyway, I thought those were a really great find. So I grabbed one of each of those. So I'm just looking around here and I think all the rest is Christmas related. So here we go. First up, I found one of their little cups here that has that beautiful truck image on it. 
I am so impressed with this one this year. You know, past years, I haven't really been a huge fan of the red truck image that they put on. We all bought the stuff though, just because it was popular and who knew that they were gonna come up with something better. But I think this one is by far my favorite and the best one they've had so far. So I thought I'd better grab me one of their little cups. I thought that was really, really cute. Then I found some gnome stuff. Now, I love these little picks. Now you could also pull these off because they do come in a two pack. You could pull them off the little stakes and use them for decorations on your tree or you know, decorating a package or uh, maybe even a gift basket or something like that. Uh, and Megan and I like to put together some greenery. We go into the forest and you know, harvest a bunch of greenery, come home and we pot it all up. And stuff like this is gonna be really cute to kind of just stick down in those little pots. So I think that's where some of these will probably make an appearance, but some of them might go on the Christmas tree as well. So while we're on the subject of gnomes, I grabbed this. Now, by itself, I'm not a fan of this tinsely kind of stuff. However, as I started looking closer at this, Look at this. This one I found actually was already starting to peel off. I thought, well, that's perfect because this is all I really want it for is for this nice big piece of faux fur. Uh, I plan on using this to make my own gnome and I can also reuse this little nose. I could paint it or cover it with something else. Uh, anyway, I thought this would be a great little thing just to kind of salvage some of this stuff because for $1.25, this is actually a pretty good deal for a nice big piece of faux fur. So Kind of just keep your eye out for stuff like this that you can repurpose and change up to make something of your own. So I found some really, really cute little hats. They had quite a number of different varieties this year. I couldn't believe it. So of course I had to grab a couple of the plaid. I think these are so well done. Again, look at this big piece of fur. So if you're looking for brown fur and you can't find any in you know your, your local stores, this is a great source. You could just pull this off and make quite a few little gnomes, especially if you're making like miniature ones. So I do have some ideas for these little hats. I think this is gonna work really well. I'm gonna be using the material and the faux fur. And then I also picked up this one here as well. Now, I thought it was really cute. I love the pattern on here. It looks very Scandinavian to me. And I thought it was really cute. And then I started looking at it even closer and I noticed that it's on upside down. The pattern is upside down. <laughs> Anyway, I think I will return this one. I'll look through them and see if they're all like that um, and I'll exchange it if, uh, if I can. Otherwise, I'll just maybe grab one more of these. <laughs> so I've seen many people hauling some really, really super cute bottle brush trees and I was hoping I could find them and I did. Now, it was kind of picked over already. Uh, so these are the ones that I grabbed because I think these are gonna work really, really well in Megan's room because she plans on decorating kind of in pastel-y kind of colors and she's definitely a pink girl. So I think these are gonna work really, really well for her. I think she'll like them. And then I just picked up a couple of their little glittery trees and trust me, these are definitely glittery. Uh, pretty much everything I bought today has glitter on it. So I'm not gonna be surprised if when I watch this video and when I'm editing it, I probably am covered in glitter. <laughs> it's that time of year. Anyway, I thought these were really pretty. I do have some like these already. You can never have too many of these trees in my opinion because you can make some great little arrangements. You can use them in um, tiered tray decorating. You can use them in your fairy gardens. You can use them in your um christmas villages oh my gosh i have lots of these and i keep adding to my stash because they just they come in so handy and plus i'm going to be decorating my office this year too so uh, i needed to pick up a few more because i know i'm going to be doing something with these there so yeah if you see them you might want to grab them while you can because they don't last very long typically so Dollar Tree also carries these little trees. They uh, bring these out every year. It kind of goes along with their little uh, Christmas village collection that they have. And I love these ones as well. So I just grabbed a couple more packages of these. So Dollar Tree also comes out with some really, really cute little wooden cutout um, pieces. I grabbed the little trees, the snowflakes, and the little snowman. Uh, they come in eight in a package. I thought these would be really cute to maybe decorate up. Megan and I can maybe make a little garland out of them or something like that, or just do individual little ornaments. Anyways, I thought those would be kind of fun for us to play around with and see what we can come up with. So I'm not typically a big fan of Dollar Tree's paper plates or napkins and that kind of stuff. I find them to be kind of cheap, to be honest, and kind of cheesy. <laughs> However, my opinion on those changed today when I found these napkins. Look at how gorgeous these are. 
Now I picked up three packages of these. You get 20 in each package. Uh, I plan on putting a couple of these in some gift baskets that I have coming up this Christmas and the other pack I'm going to keep for me. So I've mentioned to you guys before that I've become a collector of many things and Christmas cards is becoming one of those things. I have so many Christmas cards from Dollar Tree over the years. It's kind of embarrassing actually. However, you know what? They just keep bringing out such nice ones and I can never pass them up. I'm such a sucker for their Christmas cards. And this year, I have to admit, I think this is the best year yet for Christmas cards. Now I'm gonna start off with a couple that are, they're okay. I'm gonna leave my absolute favorite ones to the end. So first up, is this one. Of course, I'm a huge sucker for anything with a red truck on it. You guys all know that about me. Anyway, I thought this was really cute. It's got like the shiplap in the background. So it's got home for the holidays and on the inside it says, may the peace and joy of the holiday season be with you throughout the coming year. So I thought that one was kind of cute. The other one that I picked up also has a red truck on it. You're gonna see a little bit of a theme here with me. Anyway, I thought this was really pretty actually. The truck Eh, a little bit cartoony looking, but it's not bad. So we've got wishing you peace, joy, and hope this holiday season. And on the inside, it just simply says, hope you have a Merry Christmas. So the next one is something that I'm also very fond of, and that is snowman. And I thought this one was so cute. I can picture this one maybe going in a frame. I think that would be really, really sweet. So it just says joy on the outside. And on the inside, it says, may your holiday season be full of joy and peace. And the last ones that I picked up are actually my all-time favorite, favorite boxed Christmas cards that I have ever found at Dollar Tree. And you're going to see why. Oh my goodness. I love everything about this image. Like, the truck is beautiful. It's not cartoony at all. You got the barn, you've got, you know, this beautiful tree, and then a the little farmhouse in the background, and it's glittered. It's gorgeous, and this one is definitely going to be going into a frame. I think it's just perfect. So we uh, have just season greetings on the outside, which is nice. There's not a whole lot going on there. And then on the inside, it says, wishing you a holiday season filled with joyous moments. So if you see these, you might want to grab them. I think these are going to go really, really quick. So Dollar Tree has been bringing out these adorable little mugs for quite a number of years, actually. I already own the snowman version of this, but I thought I would pick up the little Santa this time. I think I'm gonna make one of those little faux whipped cream toppers for him and put him in my Christmas uh, coffee bar. I love that they look almost vintage. Uh, I think they are just so well done. Again, these usually go pretty quickly as well. So if you see these in your stores and you want one, grab it while you can. So I thought I better grab some Christmas ornaments for my work tree. And so I just picked up two of these tubes. You get 12 in a pack. And I just thought the red and this kind of pretty, like kind of goldy color would go really well with kind of what I have kind of in mind. So pretty good deal for 24 ornaments, a couple bucks. So I thought that was a pretty inexpensive way to get some decorations on that tree. So I am trying to decorate my office on a budget. So I thought what I'd do is I'd grab some of these little boxes. You get three in a package here at Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna simply cover these with some wrapping paper, which I did grab this tube. I thought this was very rustic looking. And I do have lots of other wrapping paper that I can just pick from here from home. And I'm just gonna simply put some packages uh, underneath the tree so it looks like there's some gifts under there. And I think that'll be just a really inexpensive way to get the kind of look that I'm looking for. So another thing Dollar Tree does really well and they bring out just about for every season are their little stakes. And I love the ones that they come up with at Christmas. And again, I mentioned before, Megan and I are gonna be putting together our little outdoor planters. So I grabbed this little snowman one, which I might actually own already from last year. This looks very familiar to me. I'll have to go look downstairs. Um, so I've got that one and then of course, I had to get the little gnome. How stinking cute is he? So another thing that Dollar Tree does really, really well, in my opinion, with is their tote bags. And this one in particular is something I have purchased before. They have brought this out the last couple of years and I just threw one out actually the other day because it started to come undone here at the stitching. It wasn't the handle breaking, which these bags are actually really strong. Uh, I do not trust the bottom though. If I've got lots of canned goods or something really heavy in there, I do tend to put my hand underneath there. I don't put a ton of weight and just carry it with the handle. So these can last you a really long time and they make great grocery shopping bags. Except they are pretty big and this is like the bottom so it opens up quite large 
and yeah, you can get a lot of stuff in these bags, but this isn't my favorite, although I use this all year round. I don't care that it's plaid. I'm definitely a plaid girl <laughs> at heart anyway, but wait till you see this next bag. Oh my word. Check this one out. It's got my favorite uh, print here on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh man. This bag actually feels like a little better quality. It's stiffer plastic than the other one. Um, so hopefully this will hold up really well as well. And I'll just show you what it looks like on the sides here. It's just plain red. It's pretty big too. And uh, yeah, I was super happy to have found these and I almost missed out actually. Goes to show you, you really got to look up and down and all around the store because this was near where I was paying at the till, uh, the cashier. And had I not looked over to the side where all the other bags and stuff were, I would not have even seen this one. So make sure you're really checking out everywhere in the store. You don't want to miss out. So these next items that I want to show you are items that, again, had I not been really, really paying attention and really looking, I would have missed. And these were something that I was actually really hoping I'd be able to find. Oh man, I found the little galvanized houses. Now these do come in three different colors. So you've got the tin, you've got uh, a green, a really, really dark kind of almost hunter green and a red, a really nice Christmassy red actually. But I decided I would get all of the ones that I picked up. I grabbed, let's see, I got, four of the taller versions and then I just got two of the little shorter house um, just because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave one set I like to put things in sets of threes so I'm going to do two larger houses and then one smaller one and I'm going to leave it just the way it is I love this galvanized tin look I think it's just so rustic and I just love it it's one of my favorite things to decorate with and then the other set I think I'm going to spray paint white and then I'm going to put some faux snow on the top here I think that'd be really really cute Again, these are gonna look amazing on a tiered tray. You could use these in your fairy gardens. You could use these in your, oh my gosh, any kind of seasonal decor you've got. And it doesn't have to be just Christmas either. These can be used all year round. So if you see these, grab them. I think this is another item that's gonna go really, really quickly. Um, and if all you can find are red and green and that's not your color, don't worry, you can just spray paint them. Now, like I was mentioning, I would not have, Pick these up had I not looked way down. Uh, I found these in my store in the aisle where the candles and the picture frames and things are, and they were tucked on a bottom shelf way down below. And like one was poking out and I thought, oh my goodness, is that, is that them? And, <laughs> and it was. So, you know, and there was a whole bunch of them underneath there. I would not have seen them had I not been looking like really, really well. So just like I said, make sure you're really looking high and low because you don't want to miss out on good stuff like this. And the last things that I picked up at Dollar Tree is a couple of rolls of the ribbon with the red truck on it. And it's not just any red truck, it's got plaid on it. How awesome is that? I was super happy to have found that. And then I found the gnome one as well. So of course, one of those had to come home with me too. Now the next items that I'm going to share with you are from Dollarama. So let me show you what I got there. So when I went to the city, I had only one item on my mind that I was on the hunt for and that I was really hoping that I'd be able to find. And you know what? I found it in the very first store that I went to. Uh, there's a few actually in the city, uh, but yeah, first store I went to and not only that, but it was right when I walked in the door, there was a shelf full of them. And this is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Now I bought one of these in my local Dollarama, oh, in the summertime, I believe. And when I saw it, I just immediately thought that I wanted it for uh, a charcuterie, a charcuterie tray. And it worked out perfectly for that because Megan and I actually just made one for Halloween. If you're interested, uh, stick around to the end of this video and I'll put a few pictures of our Halloween, what we kind of did to celebrate Halloween this year. We actually had a really great holiday. Um, it was a really good weekend. Anyway, it worked amazing for that because it's got the, you know, it's got this little lip on it so stuff isn't sliding off. And I just aligned it with some parchment paper because I didn't want my, you know, meat and cheese and stuff to be directly on the metal. But these are so nice and they're only $4, you guys. Like something this big and this nice for $4. And they had so many and they had them in a couple of different spots in that store too. So I know some of you are having a hard time uh, getting your hands on these. So 
don't give up don't just keep persevering maybe try a couple of different stores i thought that maybe these weren't going to be available anymore it was more of a summer thing but like i said i found some so keep looking and hopefully you'll be able to find some as well i picked up just two more because i think i'm going to be using these for christmas but i've seen so many things done with these you can use them like again as a serving tray which is what it's intended for i've seen people cutting out um, vinyl with their cricket or vinyl cutting machine and doing different sayings on here and using this as a decor piece that looks really really cool too or you can use these as a platform to put things in you know like put it on your on your coffee table or you know like a centerpiece so many things you can use these for so if you see them and you're kind of unsure what to do with them pick it up anyway because you'll be kicking yourself later <laughs> when you don't because this is a steal of a deal so i love to pick up these pre-cut parchment papers from dollarama and i buy this one all the time so you get 10 sheets for a dollar 25 and then during the holidays, they always come out with these specialty ones and you only get eight and these are $1.50. I thought this would make a great liner for that little galvanized tray for Christmas time for a charcuterie board or putting, you know, other baking or whatever in there. I thought that would look really, really cute. So I picked up two packages of these beautiful berry stems. And once I got them home, I realized that I got a really good deal because they were supposed to have taken this plastic wrap off there's two stems in here you guys uh, so i got two for the price of one and these were each a dollar fifty so i scored there um yeah i plan on using these for our outdoor planters this will add a little bit of color to all the greenery that we'll be having in there so yeah i was super happy to have found those and yeah bonus for me so I've been purchasing these little snowflake stickers for years. I love them. They have been going up in price though. I think they used to be $1.25 per sheet and now they're $2. Um, but yeah, I just think these are so nice. So I got the blue and silver package and then just this one here, all solid silver. These look amazing in your windows or on mirrors or anywhere you wanna stick them. However, they do leave a little bit of a sticky residue that does come off really easy with Goo Gone. Um, I plan on using these in my office to decorate. I think these will be really, really cute. So yeah, grabbed a couple of those. I had to grab this ribbon, well, of course, because it's got the red truck on it, but it's so pretty. It's got like a, almost a burlap look to it, very rustic. So you get, let's see here, uh, 1.8 meters, not a lot uh, for $1.50, but I just thought that was so cute. And then the last two items that I picked up were these little trees. Now I've seen these before and I passed on them. Uh, anyway, I just think that they are really, really cute. And these were $1.50. They are glittery and the glitter is falling off. So I'm gonna to have to spray them with some kind of sealer or hairspray or something. Um, but I thought those were really, really pretty. And that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. Thank you so much if you managed to stick around to the end of this video. I know it's a little long. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how we celebrated our Halloween, uh, I'm gonna insert some pictures. And until next time, I hope you're all doing well and I'll catch you again on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.